Does more progress in technology mean the end of teachers? And how important is it to teach science and technology? These are the main debates at this year's WISE in Doha. I don't belong to those who believe that we don't need teachers uh, at all. I think we need different teachers. I, I think certainly we need better educated teachers throughout the world who are able to do the things in a, uh, in a more, much more complicated and fast world. Technology allows us to learn any time and any place. So can we all be educators? How do we begin to recruit folks that are maybe not professional teachers, that see themselves as people that participate in the learning of young people, whether it's grandparents, whether it's parents? In their education curriculums, an increasing number of countries are focusing on STEM subjects, science, technology, engineering and maths. I think we are beginning also to learn that arts and science and drama are kind of a complementary to to STEM subjects as well. I think it's a wrong way to think that by doing more math and more science and technology that things would get better. When it comes to these subjects, is there still a difference between boys and girls? Unfortunately, for many years, there has been a gender gap in STEM. It is getting better, but you need to look at the numbers in a little more detail. In the UK, for example, there are more women studying medicine than men, but the percentage of women in maths and physics is low.